My biggest concern, investments on AI to make machines smarter. There's no limit to the amount of money that's been pumped into it. The investment in HI to make humans smarter, human intelligence, <clears throat> that's just sad. Banter, ability, um, contextual, deep understanding, while we have resorted to short tweets, emojis, memes, and stickers to communicate. Very interesting what he said, isn't it? I literally loved what he said. Here's a surprise for you. This that you're watching, this is not real. This is artificial intelligence. The set, myself, all I did was just to type the idea on the script and then artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence made an avatar and then it just speaks like me, acts like me, behaves like me. So this is not real, it's a computer program. No. Artificial intelligence and human intelligence. Who's gonna win? Which one's the best? You know, AI is literally taking over, but not the way you expect. A lot of people think that the revolution with AI is like the Terminator. Science fiction thing. It's, it's not real, at least not for now. <laughs> AI is taking over, but not the way you expect. I wanna share with you three ways that you already know but you're gonna be surprised. You already know what it is, but you're gonna be surprised of how AI can improve your life significantly and take you out of that rat's wheel and make sure you wake up. But seriously, you can see AI everywhere, you know, especially with what you use. I don't know if you noticed on your phones, you go on your Instagram, there's like meta AI on Instagram and Facebook and WhatsApp, and it's everywhere. There's a guy called Ray Kurzweil has been in the field of technology and machine learning for 60 years. He thinks that we are right now on the verge of what we call singularity. Again, very deep topic, but um, here, here is the interesting thing to me. Harvard, Stanford, MIT, they're all focusing on technology, computer, programming, machine learning, and you can actually jump online right now. If you see this thing on the video, you can jump online and you can do the MIT. You know, you know what MIT is? All of the big brains from our time, they came from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They are teaching you machine learning for free. This is how willing the world is to show us where technology is going. So this made me think, we human beings, we actually designed those machines. We built the chips. We wrote the codes. We developed the technology. If we are that smart to develop a technology for machines that learn by themselves, why can't we do it ourselves? What's the problem with our brain? What's, what's the limitation? How is it possible for, for a human mind to create a machine that supersedes the human's capacity to think? That's insane. That's like, honestly, that, that does not make any sense in my head. So two possibilities. One, someone's hiding something. I don't want to go into that. That's the whole Illuminati thing. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's different. Or number two, which I think it's more logical. We're just not supposed to. We're not supposed to. You know, limitations of our brains are like uh, guardrails on the road. They're there to protect you. Maybe we're not supposed to know everything. <laughs> in saying all of that, artificial intelligence, beautiful thing. Here are three things that I want to show you. They're already present in your day. They already took over that you can use to improve your life because AI, it's not supposed to be to the detriment of your life. It's supposed to be to the benefit of your life. It's supposed to help. It's supposed to improve your life. You're not supposed to be scared of it. You're supposed to use it. You're supposed to use tech and not be used by tech. Some of you are already convicted because you're used by tech. You just... You like you like little dolls in the hands of social media, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna fix that. Okay, three things. But before we go ahead, can I ask you one thing? <laughs> you know the subscribe button right here. Like you, literally, all it takes you it's a millisecond. Like that. That's it. All you gotta do, subscribe it. And why am I telling you that? Because you have to train the machine to suggest good content to you. The reason why you're brainwashed. It's because you keep telling the algorithm, give me crap, and you eat the crap. 
So when you subscribe, you're telling the machine, give me this chocolate cake. Give me this beautiful steak. It's paid on purpose. It's beautiful. Really good. Honestly, not arrogance, man. I believe my content. So you hit the subscribe button and you'll be suggested the new videos. And then we're going to get into a closer relationship. You and me. You know, this is, this is not far. This is not distant. Like I told you, this is not AI. This is me. It's a real me. I answered the questions. I answered the comments. Okay, so hit the subscribe button and then we can keep rolling. Did you do it? Did you? No, I, I, I am moving forward. I'm not doing anything else until you hit the subscribe button. That's it. I got to see it. I got to see it here on my insights. Like, bam, 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 bam. I got to see the spike. Cool? Done it? All right, let's go. All right, three things that you can use as artificial intelligence to improve your life. Number one, wearables. Do you know what wearable is? Wearables are pieces of technology that you wear, like Apple Watch, for example. This is an Apple Watch. Man, I don't know if you know this, but this, this thing is incredible. Right here, let me, let me see what I got here. Right here, I've got my, I, I, can, I, I can have a look and monitor my heartbeats, uh, what I ate, how many hours I slept, the calories I burned um, during the day, the weather. <laughs> I can, literally, I can look up the weather. This is the last step in, uh, before the insertion of technology into the human brain, into the human body. So Neuralink, for example, it's a, it's a chip that's inserted in your brain. That's dangerous. I, I, I'm not sure if we can calculate the consequences of that yet. But wearables, it's, it's controllable. If you don't want it, you take it out. But if you want it, you put it on. Cool? Wearables. This is artificial intelligence. You have been feeding this for a long time. And you can use this for your benefit. I can go out for a run and I can, I can put the timer on. I know how, how fast I got to run. It tells me it runs fast, run faster, run slower, control your pace, control your breathing. This is a beautiful piece of technology. The, can I recommend you, if you can, if you can afford it, um, get a wearable. It doesn't have to be an Apple Watch. I'm a bit of an Apple boy anyway, but you can, <laughs> you can buy anything else. That will help you. Technology number two, your phone. <laughs> Artificial technology or artificial intelligence right there. Your phone. You know, it's incredible. To, if, you get, if you go to a store and you say, I would like to buy a phone. And when they ask you, okay, what are you looking for in the phone? If you say calling, <laughs> they're going to be like, what? Calling? Who calls people these days? If your phone rings, uh, trust me, if your phone rings, it could only be three things. These are at least for this generation. Number one, advertising someone's trying to sell you something that's why you don't pick up number two it's, it's a surprise something unexpected or number three it's tragedy no one calls anyone we, we send messages text messages audio messages facebook messages direct messages all of that like we we are embedded in the world of social media and artificial intelligence so your phone does a lot of things and calling but some of the things most people get the phones for businesses purposes so on my phone, I can use my calendar. Um, I can use my camera. I use my camera quite a lot. There are days, I kid you not. Today is one of them. I could have left home and I could have just brought my phone with me. Look, honestly, like I'm sitting down here. There's a bit of a script that I follow with the video. So it's on my iPad. But I could have just come with my phone and left the phone right here. My phone has got access to my calendars, my emails, my Notion folders. Um, all of the things I told you about my Apple Watch. They have an app on my phone that I can control it. This, this, everything is on my phone. Everything is on the phone. And here's the scary part of artificial intelligence. You have been feeding information to your phone and to the companies for years because you have allowed your phone to listen to you through your microphone. And that's not a secret to anyone. And you have, you have been feeding social media. The reason why you see on social media the things that you see is because you told Facebook and Instagram to show you those things. You know, when you're having a conversation, your phone is picking up and you're taking pictures and you're posting stuff. When you're doing that, you are telling the social media companies, show me the money. I mean, no, that's Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Show me this content. <laughs> and they show you that content. Why? Because it's on their best interest, not your best interest. So the reason why I started this video saying three things that you can use to improve your life is that you can turn the game around. You can turn the table and say, you know what? Social media is not using me for their benefit. I'm using social media for my benefit. Number one, wearables. Number two, phones. Number three, social media. 
Social media is the first step and the last step of artificial intelligence. It's basically a universe that compiles everything that you have been saying, listening to, um, posting, texting, everything that you do with the phone in your hand and with the wearables you have. And even if the phone is not in your hand, but it's just listening to you, capturing information and, and it's all over. It's on your computer, it's on your TV. Everything is smart today. And it's funny that it's called smart devices, smart TV, smart phone, smart laptop, smart whatever, because it makes you dumb. Here's how social media works. Every single YouTuber, every single influencer, everyone who has a digital business knows this. This is a secret. From today on, you will never be lured into buying something on social media through the artifacts of artificial intelligence, okay? They know this. People come to social media for three reasons. Number one, they come to be entertained. Number two, they come to be emotionally connected. And number three, the rarest of them all, they come to be educated. Entertained, emotionally connected, and educated. You know what entertainment is. You turn on Netflix, three hours go by, you've watched nothing worth it, and then you go like, what have I done with three hours? That's entertainment. And then there is emotionally connected. People watch movies because they emotionally connect with the character. People watch their favorite YouTubes because they emotionally connect with the person. A few hundred years ago, colonizers went to a few different countries. They found people there who had never experienced contact with the white man anyway. They had never experienced contact with a different culture. They were aliens in the eyes of the white people. And the white people were aliens in the eyes of the indigenous people. So this is not a new dilemma. This is old. It's just refreshed. It's a 2.0 dilemma. These people are social media natives. You know, the worst thing about this is that you reach a native, you have to speak the native language. <laughs> I think it's so funny how traditional pastors like myself want to eliminate social media. They go like, oh, you know, you got to delete your Instagram, delete all of that, delete, this is all crap. You know what that's going to accomplish? Nothing. It's going to accomplish nothing. Because more and more, the first step to connect with these people, remember people go to social media to emotionally connect, is the screen. Do the test. Ask around. The 10 people that hang around with you, if you're surrounded by dumb people, this is going to be even worse. But, you know, ask anyone around you how many hours they spend on their phone. I can guarantee you, the average, at least two hours. At least two hours. And it doesn't matter if they're looking at email or whatever. At some point, they have some sort of social media interaction. Be it a text message, so, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Um, only fans for those of you who are like doing the wrong stuff or whatever. What? If you want to bring the gospel to the people who speak Japanese, you have to go to Japan. And if you want to bring the gospel to the people who speak social media, you have to go to social media. This is so obvious. It's a piece of technology. It's artificial intelligence, and you can be used by tech, or you can use tech. It's your call. You make the choice. You just got to wake up. Take the pill, my friend. But remember, if you take the pill, you wake up tomorrow, everything's going to be different. <laughs> Man, I love the Matrix. You got to love the Matrix, right? It was ahead of time. I'll give you an example. I follow a channel here on YouTube called Veritasium. Veritasium. I, I recommend you follow it. The link is right there. I can binge watch Veritasium for hours. This guy teaches everything from mathematical angles and equations to biological mysteries to faith questions. It's amazing. It's really deep. It's, I, I love it. Like, and again, I'm not sponsored by Veritasium. I wish. But this guy is amazing. I would rather watch that than watch Netflix. And this is one simple way that I took over and I said, social media is going to work for me. I am working for social media. Because this is the deal. Again, every YouTuber, every influencer knows this. Social media is not free. We think it's free. That's stupid. And if you think it's free, it's stupid. Social media is not free. You are paying for it. And you are paying a very high price. It's called attention. What's happening is all of the empires, YouTube, Instagram, all of that, they have a shelf. And they want to advertise on that shelf. You are the product. So you come over here. And they use your videos to advertise to the people who think they are reaching people, like myself. And you're being used, they're being used, someone else is paying for the ads, and the only people who are benefiting from this are the people in control of these social medias. So you can choose to watch something that will grow you, develop you, make you learn, 
and at least you're getting something great out of it. So let's, let's bring this to an end. My goal and my channel is to educate. I, I'm not here to entertain people, although I do like to entertain. I, um, I think entertainment is part of it. I learn a lot by, about entertainment with the entertainers. I think a message that is full of content, but it's not packaged correctly, doesn't work. That's why we have all this. That's why we try to do this in this way. So my goal number one is to educate with a little bit of entertainment. And if I can connect emotionally, if what I'm talking to you, if I'm saying relates, that's even better. I think that's the perfect formula. I educate first with emotional connection next. And then finally, we entertain because I understand the nature of videos. That's what I'm trying to do. And if you are being educated right here, if you're liking it, like I said, subscribe to the channel, like the video. It doesn't cost you anything. I mean, it costs you a lot, your attention. But hey, I'm giving you nuggets here. I'm giving you gold. You have to agree. <laughs> it's not very common to find good content around social media. So, you know, help a brother out. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave your comment if you want to. And if you want more, if you want to go deeper, I do have a separate place where you can come along. And then over there, we discuss the nitty gritty, the details, and we go really deep and it's exclusive. It doesn't go anywhere. Every video that I make here, there's an, an extended version there for 10 or 15 minutes with different questions, different topics, different matters, and it's made for community. It's not about audience, it's about forming a community. Everyone gets to be a part of it, and then we get to push the message forward to helping people find their purpose. So I appreciate what you're watching to this point, and if you enjoyed it, like I said, like the, uh, like the video, leave your comments, and if you want to explore more before you go into your Patreon, I think you should watch this video over here because it's going to open your mind. Let's go.